So I think it's really important that your properties cash flow really well. Uh, if you're stacking a deal, uh, by this I mean you know you should be aiming for like an 8% minimum, probably more 10, maybe 12, 12 ideally if you can. And the reason for this is that it helps protect you from any unforeseen circumstances. For example, the rise in mortgage interest rates, rising utility costs, you know anything like that that you just didn't expect, because stuff like that can cripple you. Um, so the, the best way, in my experience, three of the best ways to do this is uh, firstly to make sure that you get the biggest property in its type class. So for example, if you're getting a three bed, then aim for a spacious three bed. If you're getting a two bed, buy to let, aim for a spacious two bed and good quality. Um, you know, if you are doing a HMO, make sure the rooms, the property is big enough for you to support large rooms. So, you know, sort of 10, 12 meters squared at a minimum plus ensuite. Uh, and then make sure that the, the product is of a high quality. So you aim at the upper end because then you can command a higher, you can add a premium to it, let's say, rather than try to scrape the bottom of the barrel. Um, obviously, you know, if, if you've already have a certain type of product or let's say your property is already of a certain size, then well, there's not much you can do about that. But what you can do, and this is the, sort of the third tip, is you can use a good lettings agent. agent. So definitely look out for a good lettings agent. Uh, and what they would do is they should be able to get you a lot higher or they should be able to advise on how you can get much higher rent for your area, so above market rent. And that should also really save you a lot of costs as well. Yeah, hopefully that's been helpful. So that's just three tips in total. Spacious properties uh, of its type class. Make sure you aim at the upper end of the market and make sure you use a really good lettings agent.